गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई हैव टेकन अ क्लास नॉट अ क्लास इट्स जस्ट अ क्वेश्चन अ फाइव मार्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम व्हाट कोहास हैव गिवन अ मॉडल क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन व्हिच मे बी विथ यू so we'll have a small discussion and i have given some more details in the uh, handout which you have uh, unit 1 but still it is it just i made uh, some of the things which is not in the handout and some of them have been taken from the handout also so you can have a small understanding regarding this question what should be written so this is a five mark question write a short note on natural pesticides that's what which we have given here and uh, in this uh, we, we know that it's a uh, write a short note on a natural pest control agents so in pest control agents we have many type of methods but we are going to deal with the natural natural pest control agents or natural uh, system which may not have any type of harm to the humans or uh, for any type of other organisms uh, it may not even control of pollutions so these all things will be uh, governed by means of using natural pest control so we are going to see what do you mean by natural pest control uh, in which uh, we can have uh, about this you can see here a uh, pest control method of pest control there are nearly mainly three types even we can the cultural pest pest control is also comes under natural type but anyhow we will see first one is physical method physical method we can just uh, uh, remove the particular pest from the area by means of uh, even rodents means rodents can be uh, uh, can be caught by means of various methods physical methods and even insects can also be removed by means of physical method that's what we are telling about physical method of um, pest control this is one of the natural method of pest control it is a non chemical pest control method so chemical method of pest control what do you mean by chemical method of pest control there is lot of chemicals which we are using nowadays which we want to avoid actually this is we are not going to deal with any chemical method of pest control here for this question just i have added what all the other control methods are there mainly we all have you might have heard about many things people who are agriculturist who are getting panic who are getting um, um, uh, disaster they are getting many type of disease due to the chemical pesticides which are used for their cultivation and also what the consumers which we are taking also we are getting affected by means of the pesticides chemicals which they are used so that's why we are trying to avoid the chemicals usage of in pesticide pest control so chemical pest control is actually we are avoided by means of in this uh, this this is situation and we can go uh, for the next one actually so we can see cultural method of pest control and biological method of pest control cultural method of pest control which is very common according to the area wise regional wise there is many type of methods which is followed which we have taken in the natural method also biological method of pest control is also now advanced method which is also followed nowadays by means of having very various uh, methods which can be followed so now we are if pest and disease cannot be prevented or controlled by cultural and physical means it may be necessary to the use of natural pesticides so 
many growers, the cultivators or cultivars have developed ways of making their own spray from plants such as garlic, chilies, marigold and many other plants. And a solution which is prepared from these plants and this events made can be made from even you can see this that they can make a solution even made from the garlic, chilies, even marigold. Marigold used in water and soap can also be sprayed. And examples of natural pest control agents. See the question asked regarding natural pesticides. So we have to include these points initially when you are writing the question. So examples you can see tobacco. We can tobacco also extract and you can just make this is also having pest, pesticide. It can be used as a pesticide. Pyrethrum or chrysanthemum the plant pyrethrum plant flowers they are also used and you can name you know very well and sabadilla is also a plant which is this type of flower long flowers and and we can see that the next one is about ryani ryania uh, rotinone naxwamica naxwamica we might have studied already in our form of coconut one itself it's an, po a seed uh, poisonous seed which can be used even it has bruising and uh, it has even strychnine which is having uh, convulsion effect so this also can be used for as a pesticide in various methods and when you see the you can see this is ryania plant flower and the fruit is like this which is also used which I shown in the previous slide which I was unable to show the picture and this is about the rotinone a powder can be prepared this is the flower type the rotinone flower it is also available rotinone which is also used as an pesticide and naxomica naxomica fruit is like that and seed is also used for various pesticide action natural pesticide compound and the best natural pesticide is neem oil which you know very well and this is one of the best all purpose natural insecticides killing everything from cabbage worms squash bugs cabbage worms this one squash bugs you can see squash bugs and above ground N that is nematodes, ground nematodes. These are ground nematodes in the soil, and they are good uh, um, um, grubs are there, bad grubs are also there. And you can see the grubs, even this grubs also, some of them they will spoil the underground stem. And grubs beneath the soil can be by means of using neem oil, you can prevent the plant, you can protect the plant by means of using this natural pesticide neem oil. Neem oil is a poisonous extract from the neem tree uh, for the insects, uh, a, tropi and a, a tropical Asian species which is widely available in garden centers. A natural pesticide at home you can prepare yourself by strain, cool and add it into your spray bottle, simple spray bottle, the empty bottle you can add and you can go on spraying. So what are they? You can use neem leaf, can be taken as an extract and uh, even salt spray, onion and garlic spray, eucalyptus oil can also be sprayed and also chrysanthemum flower tea, a tea or a decoction or an extract which can be prepared from chrysanthemum. chrysanthemum is that is the pyrethrum plant so chrysanthemum chrysanthemum flower tea can also be used as an pesticide so this is about neem and 
which I want to show you that salt spray and this is about the onion and garlic spray and even you can use eucalyptus oil spray can be done and also chrysanthemum flower tea can also be used for this purpose which can natural uh, pesticidal effect can be obtained. So these are some of the examples and you can see chrysanthemum it is in the pyrethrin that pyrethrin is the main constituent which is present which can even kill the various bugs and various pests which is very threatening to the development of fruits and vegetables can be used by means of this natural pesticide which is available in the market. And now coming to the natural pesticide control agents in which especially we want to know what are bio pesticides because they are also comes in the natural pesticide we have to add them because they are also bio pesticides. So bio pesticides are certain type of pesticides derived from such natural materials like animal, plants, bacteria and certain minerals. For example, canola oil and baking soda we have taken for this bio pesticide an example. There are many but still we have taken this as an example. And uh, have pesticidal application and are con considered bio pesticides. So bio pesticides. As in April 2016, there are 299 registered bio pesticide active ingredients and 1401 active bio pesticide product registration they have done in 2016. Now also it has been increased. This is only a data from 2016. This is about the can that is canola oil and I will tell you the canola oil species also from where they are taken. And baking soda, sodium bicarbonate Carbonic acid, monosodium salts of baking soda which is present in it as a foliar spray used in the garden. It works wonder against fungus and bugs. Baking soda can be used sole, that means alone, three spoons of baking soda in a gallon of warm water sprayed weekly while will that not while will eradicate powdery mildew and helps to control rust and black spots in certain fruits and leaves and in the plants. Potassium bicarbonate and sodium bicarbonate are naturally occurring compounds that are not ex expected to have adverse effects on humans or the environment when they are used as a fungicides. So they are safe and it can be used even though they are chemicals. It's an inorganic chemicals which can also be included in the form of natural source of pesticide compounds. So it can be sprayed over especially tomatoes and it can help them from, it can avoid sometimes borers, fruit borers, stem borers, it can be saved. Canola oil is a vegetable oil derived from, that's what I told, canola oil from where it is derived, it is derived from a variety of rapeseed, that is rapeseed from where low in erosic acid as opposed to colza oil. There are both edible and industrial forms produced from the seed of any of several cultivars of plant family Braceae or Braceaceae you can say. The namely cultivars or the growers or the agriculturists 
Oh, how, what is the species they are using especially? Brassica napus len and Brassica rapa subspecies. These two species can be used as shown in the picture. Brassica rapa subspecies and Brassica napus lin can also be used for this purpose to produce the rap seeds which can produce canola oil which can be used as a natural source of pesticide and canola is a safe for most plants and won't harm human or pets and the effect of canola oil differs depending on the pest for example canola oil may poison some bugs or blocks insects air holes and make them suffocate and kill them and how do an organic farmer because organic vegetables organic products are having more value nowadays we too go and ask whether it is organic without chemicals without any the natural manure are you using for the growth that type of fruits and vegetables are having more demand so how do organic farm farmers keep pest away from their field organic pest management may include the use of pheromone pheromone traps what do you mean by pheromone 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 traps release of benefits insects pheromones are some chemicals which is produced by the particular insects itself particular pest itself they used to produce this pheromone means they are produced by them for various purposes defensive purposes and also for mating purposes for reproducting purposes and also to predators to attack the predators to protective purposes so like that that particular research have done the chemicals which can be kept in the garden in a physical manner and it can be attracted by the insects and the insects will be trapped in that particular equipment or particular place which you have kept that's what their idea please you have to remember this and you have to know this and you have to write this very clearly what is pheromone traps how it traps the insects what is its benefits and where what is they are they are chemical they are they, they are used or trap crops and also other organic approved techniques are there to trap insects so pheromones are chemical used by insects and other animals to communicate with each other in their body naturally that only we are producing or synthesizing or we are taking from them insects send these chemical signals to help attract mates for reproduction want their other predators are on who is attacking birds or animals with they are attacking them they will just warn them by means of this smell or this type of chemical which is produced by them and even sometimes finding food also they used to use this type of chemical so they are called as pheromones pheromones what is pheromones so that one we are using as a natural pesticide to attract them and finishing them and protecting our plants so using sp specific pheromones traps can be used to monitor target pests in agriculture or in residential areas so this is one picture to show that how you are keeping this bottle inside that you are get, getting that uh, you are keeping that particular material which is impregnated with for example uh, you will keep that uh, you will keep that particular uh, for example the chemical pheromones chemical 
specifically for specific pest will be impregnated in a rubber form and it will be kept there. So even keep in a funnel like this and the, the insects can be attracted or it can be kept as a tray and a tra tra in this type of shape hanged in the area and the insect will come and be attracted and it can be collected or you can keep like a straight vertical plate also can be kept. So this is the uh, that is uh, pheromones actually pheromones are this type of having the attracting and prevent and act as a natural pesticide. Biochemical pesticides are naturally occurring substances that control pest by non-toxic mechanism. Biochemical pesticides include substances that interferes with mating such as insect sex pheromones as well as various scented plant extracts that attract insect pest to traps. Microbial pests consist of a microorganism, bacterium, fungus, virus or protozoan as the active ingredient. Microbial pesticides can control many different kinds of pests although each separates each ingredient is relatively specific for target pest. For example, there are fungi that can control certain weeds and other fungi that kill specific insects. So you see, so specific pheromones should be isolated and then you can use that. And you see that most widely microbial pesticides are species and strains of Bacillus thuringiensis is the thuringiensis you can say thuringiensis ring ring thuringiensis or Bacillus thuringiensis which strain in this bacterium produces a different mix of proteins and specifically kill one or a few related species of insect larva. So you should know the definitions again and again and repeatedly I have written. Pheromones are chemical produced as messengers that affect the sexual behavior of others, individuals of insects or other animals. So this is a video which I have mentioned, which I have brought for you in which you can see that how he is keeping that impregnated chemicals to attract the insects. See, it's a clip and a hook which he is fixing in the lid. And then there is a holder. You have to remove that. It's called lure, which contains the impregnated rubber-like thing, which is attracted by uh, for the insects. And this is the pheromone lure. Pheromone. Pheromone lure which is impregnated, that pheromore can be fixed, that is the rubber pheromore, insert that pheromore lure inside that clip and close the lid. There is holes are there inside where the insects can get inside and it will be trapped. And you can hang in the plantation area so that the insects will be attracted and it can be saved. So this is how they are using this one example and various methods can be followed. So sex, pheromones and aggregation 
pheromones are the most common types used. If a pheromone impregnated lure as the red rubber septa is used in this video which you have seen. So what is PIPs? <coughs> Sorry. PIPs means plant incorporated protectants. The pesticidal substance that plant produce for genetic material that have been added to the plant. For example, scientists can take the gene of the Bacillus thuringiensis, pesticidal protein and introduce the gene into the plant's own genetic material. Then the plant, instead of the Bacillus thuringiensis, Bacillus thuringiensis bacterium manufacturers the substance that destroy the pest they can produce the plant. So the pest control itself can be developed in the particular species. And what are the advantages of using these biopesticides? Biopesticides are usually inherently less toxic than conventional pesticide, chemical pesticides. Biopesticides generally affect only the target pests, not the other animals or other plants which is nearby and closely related organism it, in constant to broad spectrum conventional pesticides that may affect organism as different as birds, insects and animals. Biopesticides often are effective in very small quantities and often decompose quickly resulting in lower exposures are largely avoiding the pollution problems caused by conventional pesticides. So they are less toxic for environmental pollution. They can even avoid when you are using this pollution can be reduced by means of using biopesticides or natural pesticides. When used as a component of integrated pest management IPM programs, biopesticides can greatly reduce the use of conventional chemical method of pesticide while crop yields remain high and it can be the yield also can be improved by means of using biopesticides. And the use of biopesticides effectively and the safe they are. However, users need a known a great deal about managing pests and must carefully follow all label direction which is given by the manufacturer. When you are taking some biopesticides, you have to follow the instruction properly when you are applying it. And biopesticide registered in Insecticide Act 1968, name of the biopesticides I have just given, it is also very important when you note it down, Bio, that is Bacillus thuringiensis varieties of Israel, Israelensis and Bacillus thuringiensis variety of Kurstaki and Bacillus thuringiensis variety of Galilere and Bacillus safricus and Trichoderma viride Trichoderma harsinium Sudamanus florensis Buviria Bacinia, Bacciana, NPV of Helicoverpa armigera, NPV means nuclear 
polyhedros virus an npv of sporoptera litura a neem based pesticides and symbo pogan and bacillus thuringiensis a picture i have made because it's the very common bacteria which can be used as in bio pesticides and it is a gram positive soil dwelling bacterium commonly used in biological pesticide and various products which is as shown in the picture bio that is bio pesticides of for example that is bacillus thuringiensis of israelensis and bacillus thuringiensis variety of uh, like uh, kush taki and bacillus thuringiensis of variety of galeria are also present and you can see there are some listed out i have made some plants like you can see plants constituents like lemonin and lemonol this is very much present in all citrus fruits like lemon oranges and orange peel and everywhere it is present they can also be used for this purpose like target pest like it can kill fleas aphids and mites also kills fire ants and several types of flies and paper wasps and house crickets and neem you can see a variety of sucking and chewing insects like sucking and chewing insects means insects which can tear chew and grind the food example like grasshopper and a beetle and cutworms caterpillars damaged by chewing the insects including that is tearing chewing grinding all parts of the plant they will do so that can be easily prevented by means of neem leaf and also neem oil can also be used for this purpose pyrethrum pyrethrin is the main constituent which is present it can be used for preventing ants aphids roaches cockroaches fleas flies and ticks and rotten that is rotenone or rotten rotenone sorry rotenone not rotenone 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 is one of the constituent which i showed in the previous picture itself is a plant which have a very beautiful flower from that a powdered a red color powdered rotenone which also have an natural pesticidal effect in leaf feeding insect such as aphids certain beetles asparagus beetle and bean leaf beetle colorondo potato beetle cucumber beetle flea beetle strawberry beetle strawberry leaf beetle and others the can caterpillars as well as fleas and lice on animals can be also used by this rotten rotenone Ryania is the plant which I have seen that is Ryania. The plant in the first slide itself. It is also used to kill caterpillars in European corn borer and corn earthworm and others and trips. Sabadilla is also a plant which we have seen that is the 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 long flower, which also uses squash bugs, harlequin bugs, trips. and caterpillars leaf hoppers and stink bugs to kill you can use them and this is what house cricketers which you might have seen in the house making kiki kiki ki some sound in the early morning in the water area we can see this how crickets they also sometimes they will cut the leaves and they will cut the stem and they will do all type of best they are mites sucking insects cockroaches crotches roaches fleas very dangerous and licks ticks and see the potential bio uh, uh, pesticides from plant extracts like adotoda kasaya and pudina kasaya pudina leaves which you are using ada toda vasaka kaf for we are using is very having a more value for the expectorant 
and it's having more very good effect in the respiratory part so you can see adathoda kashayam and pudina kashayam can also be used as a natural pesticide leaf folder sometimes some leaf will be folded and it will spoil the plant so that can also be avoided by this adathoda kashayam and leaf folders bacteria leaf blight and helminth that is helminth so that is helminth sporium helminth helminth why i am stopping here because helminth means anti helminthic so helminth sporium is one of the spore which causes the worms which causes the leaf spots helminth sporium leaf spots can be removed by means of this adathoda kashayam and also pudina kashayam that helminth sporium is can be seen as a leaf spot in the various leaves and it damages the leaf and as well as it damages the whole plant in future slowly slowly so we have to keep this type of a uh, natural uh, pesticide and tripula kashayam tripula sorum is there tripula kashayam which contains that is terminalia chavula and it has the three uh, even and tripula uh, kashayam can also be used for bacterial leaf blight or blight bacterial leaf blight and helminth sporium helminth sporium leaf spot helminth sporium leaf spot and astra there is astra andrographis kashayam andrographis sativum andrographis nilavembu that means that is and the sida kashayam they are used for aphids and borers of brinjal borers they will put holes in the brinjal lady's finger lady's finger also they will affect more this so this type of insects that is called borers they will put holes borers they can be used by andrographis kashayam and sida kashayam barley sesamum and horse gram kashayam barley sesamum and horse gram kashayam can be acts in the fruit yield enhancer they acts as a fruit yield enhancer cow urine cow urine also can be used for example cow urine arkum and sweet flag arkum they can be used bacterial leaf blight and it can also be used for helminthosporium leaf spot vein clearing disease and fusarium wilt can also be treated with this type of natural cow urine arkum can be used so this is again you can use sometimes garlic arkum also can be used for leaf fold leaf folders bacterium leaf blights and helminth sporium leaf spot can also be avoided by means of can be prevented not avoided prevented by means of using garlic arkum neem seed extract from all crops it can be for all crops it can be used it's a natural with which one leaf folders aphids jarsets fruit bo- fruit borer and stem borer can also be there is fruit borer i can show that how it is boring it's putting a bowl inside it enters into the tomato and you can see that it is how it is putting a bowl inside a, a lady's finger and you see here this is a picture stem borer it can go inside the stem like you can see i have shown here a, a picture of cane that is sugar cane and it will bore and the sugar cane will put in that is the original that is the it, how it, this is the insect which is responsible and jasics so this is about that five mark question i have given some detail still more detail is also there in the in my handout but that also you can add if you can read but for five mark this itself it is more but still some of the points whichever you can remember you can add how a natural pesticide can be used for in an organic farming can be easily explained with examples you have to write with examples you should know how the physical means how they are preventing thank you for being with me in this class thank you have a great day